Smith. Uh, let's go through some more moves. We're going to start at the back for a minute. And very gently, I'm going to get you to space your feet so they're just underneath your hips. And then we'll forward fold. As always, you can go ahead and bend your knees a little bit if you like. Grab one of those toes. And then just slowly start to extend your legs. Feel the stretch. We're looking for hamstrings. We're looking for some low back. And if this feels comfortable, take a big breath in. On your exhale, bend those elbows, chest coming down to thighs. And you can just wiggle your hips a little bit side to side, getting a little deeper with every exhale into the stretch. From here, let's walk ourselves out. We're going to stop not quite in a plank, so we're going to be in a down dog, and then I'm just going to get you to walk your heels out. Got a fairly big leg day planned for you today, so we're going to spend a fair bit of time just warming up through our legs. Good. So we just walked out our heels. We've got a calf stretch. We did our hamstrings. From here, I'm going to get you to pick up your right foot, and then I'm just going to get you to kick that heel to the ceiling. And maybe you stop right here. This is activating our glute. If you like, you can drop that heel over the left side of your body. And so right now we're getting a stretch all down the right side of our body. Right hip flexor, right lat. Maybe a little bit in the right obliques. And then I'll get you to bring that foot back down. Back into our down dog. Let's walk our heels out. So we're getting that calf stretch again. And the cool thing about this is we're getting an upper body warm up. So we're getting core, we're getting shoulders, we're getting triceps. I'll get you to plant your right foot, kick left heel to the ceiling, and maybe that's it. It's like a donkey kick. Just activating our glute, and then we'll drop that heel over the right side of our body. Feel a little bit of a stretch all down the left side. And then let's come on back down. And I'm going to get you to back your hands up, kind of like when we do a plank, an extended plank, and then we walk all the way back up. Roll those shoulders back. Alrighty, you should feel a fair bit of warmth going on. Let's try it again. We're going to go into that forward fold. And it is so cool. Notice the huge difference after just doing it once. It should feel a pretty big stretch and be able to bend forward a little bit further than we did the first time. We're going to walk ourselves back into that down dog position. When we're in down dog, just make sure you've got your fingertips really spread so we're taking a little bit of weight through each of our fingertips, not just through the heel of our hand. The more we push our fingertips into the floor, the less pressure there is to support our body weight through our wrists. So if you ever feel like any of the workouts we do here are tough on your wrists, try spreading out your fingertips a little bit. I'm going to get you to place your left foot down. We're going to bring that right heel up, donkey kick, drop it over to the side. And again, if this is too much, you can just hang it in a downward facing dog. You can just do your donkey kick, whatever version works for you. I'll get you to bring that leg back down. We're going to really quickly walk at our heels, see if you can get heels to the floor. Calves should be getting much longer as we do this little bit of a warm-up. And then let's go right heel, right foot stays down, left heel comes up, drop it over. Kick that left heel over to the right side of our body, feel stretched on the left side of our body. Good, bring it back down. And then we're going to walk all the way back, heels go down, hips come up, and then Last but not least, we roll up. Roll those shoulders back. Take a breath. Might feel a little bit lightheaded after being inverted for so long. Take your time here. Next, we're going to go into a series of lunges. And I'm going to get you to start with right foot comes forward. And we're going to set up into a yoga position. So we're going to be going through some warrior lunges. I'm going to get you to go left foot, back foot on a 45 degree angle. Right foot's facing straight forward. And then let's go arms up. And we'll just start to bend that front leg. And notice I made a couple of adjustments. I don't know if you noticed me taking my foot out uh, further away from my back foot. I just noticed that my knee started to track out way over top of my toe. So we just want to make sure that knee is stacked right over top of your ankle, over top of your heel. And if not, just make a little bit uh, longer stride. Arms up parallel to the floor. Back outside edge of your back foot, drive it into the floor. You're going to notice that that outside edge of your left foot is going to want to come up off the floor torso is nice and tall. Take a big breath in. Exhale. <sighs> Sitting down. Should feel a little bit of stretch through the inside of the leg. Should feel some work right here in your front quad. Arms up. Shoulders are working. 
And then I'm going to get you to rotate face forward. As we do that, make sure your back foot stays on, flat on the floor. Feel a little bit of a stretch in your left hip. And then we're going to go two hands up. So this is a warrior one position. <laughs> and if you're watching me, you can see there's some tightness here. This is a really great one to get a little bit of stretching through your left hip flexor. And then let's push all the way back. A lot of work going on in our front quad. We're going to try this on the other side. So left foot out to the side, 45 degree angle. Take that stride with the right foot and it's a big long stride. Arms come up parallel to the floor. And then we'll start to bend that front knee. Torso is nice and tall. Here's a little test to make sure that your front knee is in proper alignment. When we're in a perfect position, a warrior two position, if you take a quick little peek down at your right knee, or sorry, at your left knee, your front knee, you should be able to see your big toe just slightly on the inside of your left knee. I'll say that again. Take a peek at your left knee. See if you can see your big toe just slightly on the inside of the left knee. If you can't see your big toe, that means our knee's falling onto the inside. We need to bring it out. So push it out to the left. Arms up. And then I'm going to get you to rotate again. And we stay here, back heel flat on the floor. And then we're going to go into a warrior one. And you notice what happens. This front knee, it's probably going to uh, reduce the depth of the lunge, no problem. It's more of a function of flexibility than it is strength here. And then let's push all the way back. Nicely done. We're going to do that one more time very quickly. So we've got right foot comes forward, left foot on that 45 degree angle, sitting on down, chest up. Let's get arms up parallel to the floor and then open up your chest by pulling those arms back. So we're getting a little bit of a stretch here through our pecs, definitely some work on our shoulders. And then same thing, I get you to take a peek at your right knee. Just make sure you can see that right big toe slightly on the inside of the right knee. And then we're going to rotate our body, keeping your back foot in the same position. And then hands up to the ceiling, a little bit of a backward bend. Feel stretch again in your left hip flexor. Good. Let's push all the way back. Try this on the other side. We've got right foot 45 degree angle, left foot facing straight forward. Take a peek at your left knee. Can you see that left big toe? Arms up parallel to the floor. Pull those hands back. So we're flexing our back muscles to pull those arms back. Not letting our butt push out the back. Sitting up nice and tall. Take a breath in. Sit it on down. Good. Keeping back foot flat on the floor. Turn. Arms up. Warrior one doesn't have to be a big bend in the front knee. We're looking for more for a stretch through the right hip. And let's push all the way back. Nicely done. All I'm going to do a couple arm circles here and we will get going. So prefacing today's workout, today's workout is based on a lot of strength moves. Let's switch over opposite arm. Um, pretty low on the cardiovascular side, but very high on our muscular endurance. So we're going to be holding a lot of positions, using a lot of isometrics. Let's go reverse circle, right arm. A lot of isometrics where we're holding the position. The nice thing about that is it's a very safe way to exercise and it's completely up to you. Let's switch over left arm. Um, how much difficulty you incorporate into this workout? Simply by the depth you hold in the position and how slowly we move. Roll those shoulders out and we're going to get started. So first exercise, let's go feet right together, knees together. We're going to go into a chair pose. Chair pose. Hold that with me so everyone's here. Heels together, toes together, butts pushing out the back. Notice your knees. Knees are behind toes. Nose. Nose is behind knees. So we've got this perfect flat line all down the front side of our body. Can I get everyone to pull your belly button in so we're just tightening up through the midsection. Everyone hold here. Right now you should be feeling a fair bit of work through your quads and we really want to think about sucking that belly button in. So this should be an ab workout. If your abs aren't quivering right now, I need you to pull your belly button in a little bit tighter. Then we're going to go arms up overhead. Take a breath in and then exhale. We're going to sit down a little bit deeper. Holding here. So I talked about isometrics. Isometric is holding a position. We're basically preventing our joints from moving. So once we've locked into this chair position, joints aren't moving, muscles aren't contracting or lengthening, they're holding equal weight in both heels, arms pointing up on a 45 degree angle up towards where the ceiling and the walls meet, 
Good. Still holding this position. If you like, we're going to go into a prayer style twist. So I'm going to get you to take your right elbow. It's going to cross over top of left knee. Stack your palms on top of each other. Left elbow goes up to the ceiling. Keep a tall chest. I'm going to show you a bad example here. And you can see what I'm doing, really rounding my back and then straightening up my knees. Contrast that with this. We've got very bent knees and then a much flatter back. Take a look to your left elbow if you can. Awesome. Holding that chair pose. I know quads probably are burning right now. We're going to go over to the opposite side. Left elbow over right knee. Right elbow up to the ceiling. Go ahead. Take a look at your right elbow. Stay low. People who typically do a level three or four, can I get you to bend your knees a little bit deeper? Let's deepen into this chair pose. Good. Now, I want everyone to come on up, and we're going to straighten up our legs. I'm going to get you to come onto one foot, your left leg. We're going to start to go into an airplane dive. Level of difficulty here, purely determined by how deep we go into this dive. Keeping a really straight, flat back, chest is up away from the floor. I want you to squeeze your right butt cheek, get your right leg up away from the floor. So it might look like this for a beginner. Someone who's more advanced is going to get your whole body parallel to the floor. Arms come up, thumbs up. We're going to pulse, thumbs up, thumbs back down. Working on perfect balance. Your standing leg, your left leg, has a little tiny bend in the knee, but definitely not going into a squat. It's just a little tiny bend. If this ever becomes too much, go ahead. You can put two legs on the floor, and we can be right here, kind of like in a chair pose. Otherwise, I want you to hold on one leg. Hold here. Let's do four, three, two, one. Let's switch legs. Moving really nice and slow. And we're going to bring left leg up parallel to the floor. Hinging at our hip. Should feel some work. Left glute, very active. And let's pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and done. Come on up. Roll those shoulders out. Combination hamstrings, quads, getting the back of our shoulders. Should feel very tall right now in this position. I'm going to get everyone to come down. And we're going to go through some ab work here. And let's do this together. First spot I want you to be hands behind your body. Fingertips touching the floor, chest up nice and tall. Heels on the floor. Everyone hang out here. Next thing I want you to do, try and make as little weight go through those fingertips as possible. So it's like they're just floating off the floor. If you feel like you can remove them all together, hands come up and we're just going to have hands slightly forward for a little bit of balance. You know where we're going with this one. You can hang out here, belly button tucked in, nice tall chest, very flat back. Or we can go into boat pose. Hands forward, a little bit of counterbalance, shins parallel to the floor, knees are bent. If you feel comfortable here, I want you to pull your belly button in, flatten out your back. So we're trying to avoid this. Look at this ugly boat pose I'm in right now. Contrast that with this. Tall chest. And then if you feel comfortable, we can straighten out our legs. Good. Holding this pose. We're here for five, four, three, two, one, rolling back down with me, hands on your ears, feet flat on the floor, chin away from chest, and all I'm going to get you to do is crunch up, hold here, belly button pulls in, no space under your lower back, keep that space out of your lower back, slowly come on down, three, two, one, exhale, we're up, hands on your ears, giving your support for your head, shouldn't feel like a ton of work in your neck muscles right now, slowly come down, no space, no gap under the low back, try it again, we're up. Yep, and then we're slowly down. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, we're gonna crunch back up and we're back into that boat pose. You can straighten out your legs, chest up, flatten out your back. We're really trying to avoid this. Shoulders back, long neck. Hold here, hold here, hold here. We're in a 20 second boat pose, three very slow, slow crunches. Yes, so we're here for five, four, Three, two, one. Good. Come on down. Let's go for it. We've got to crunch up, hold, slowly back down. You should notice at this point, already abs a little bit tired. Come on back down. 
Can I get you to pull your belly button into the floor, slowly lower down, head touches last time. We're up, boat pose. Extend those knees. Hold here. Can I get you to bring your shoulders back, chest up, flatten out your lower back, belly button pulling into your spine. So many things to think about right now, I know. Good, let's be here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come on down. And we've got a crunch. Come on back down. No gap under the low back this entire time. Right back down. Last one. And right back down. Nice. I'll get you to come on up. We're going to grab a seat on our knees. You tell me, actually. I was going to talk about what muscles we're about to work here. I want you to tell me. So we've got knees right underneath hips. I want you to squeeze your glutes. Notice what happens. Watch my butt. Butt's po poking out the back. Squeezing glutes. Hips go forward. Try it. Let's go two hands just floating behind our body. See where my hands are. And I'm just going to get you to start to let your body drop back, drop back, drop back. If you ever feel like your lower back is in a position that doesn't feel comfortable, go ahead and stop. Otherwise, we're going to drop back, touch our heels, come on back up. Here's a level number one. Try it with me again. Dropping back. Dropping back, squeezing glutes forward, touch your heels, or come close to your heels, and then we come right back up. If that feels good, here's our next level of difficulty. We're going to go left hand up, drop back, squeeze glutes, drop back, drop back, touch, come on back up. Notice what happens here. When we extend our arm, we're making your body into a longer lever, creating a little bit more resistance. Come on, drop back, same thing. Left hand up touch. Come on back up. Good. Then you can start to work on your depth instead of touching your heel. Maybe you touch lower on your foot, eventually touching the floor. Try it again. Left hand up or two hands back. Your choice. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Touch. Right back up. Great. I said this whole workout's about isometrics. We're going to hold this position. So we're going to do five. Five second holds. Come on back. Left arm up we're down. Touch. No weight transferring into the floor. We're just lightly touching with our fingertip. And that's it. Come on back up. Tell me what muscles are working. Let's try it again. Come on down. 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 Touch that floor. Hold. Good. So important. When we touch that floor, we're not resting. We're not touching our heel or the floor and pushing all the weight through that fingertip. It's barely even touching. Come on back up. There's three. Let's try it again. Slowly lowering down, down, down. Squeeze glutes, hips push forward. Light little touch. <sighs> Good, we just got one more. Try it again. Come on down. Come on down. Touch. <sighs> nice. What muscles are working? This is a surprising one. Obviously stomach, obviously lower back. A ton of quads. We've got right hand up. Lowering down. Touch, hold. Good. This entire movement, nice and slow. We're looking for five, five second reps. Touch, hold. Come on back up. I don't know about you, stomach and quads are being worked right now. Let's try it again. Come on down. Hips push forward. So we're really trying not to round our back. If anything, we're doing a backward bend, squeezing glutes, touch. <sighs> nice. Let's go. Hands down. We're into a box position push-up. Try it with me. Slowly down, nose to floor. Push it back up. Back this up. Modified push-up if you like. This one's chest to floor. Obviously, the next one, try with me. We've got chest to floor. I said we're doing things slowly today. We're doing our classic 10 second push ups. I know, it's gonna be tough. So, we've got thumbs just on the outside of your mat. Come into your push up, top of your push up position, whatever one you want to do. Stay with me. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one push it up. Here's your rule. We're always in motion on the way down. 
Try it. We're never stopping. Good. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. Eight more. Ready? Let's go. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Push. Chin up away from the chest. Let's go. Slowly down. Modify if you like. Maybe you do one or two on your toes. And then modify. Try again. Yep. Feel how much core work's going on right now. Good. There's four. Try it again. Slowly, 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 slowly. And touch. Five. I'll give you a count. Ready? Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. There's six. Ready? Let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. There's seven. Let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. Good. Again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. Last one. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. Good. Grab, grab a sip of water. Very slow first time through, I know. We'll pick up the pace a little bit, but just remember, this one is all about speed. The faster you go, the easier it gets. So we go back into chair pose. We're going chair pose, prayer style twist, airplane dive with a reverse fly. Lots going on. Let's go knees together, nose, knees, toes, lower backs working. Try it. We're going to go arms up, sit down a little bit deeper, challenge yourself. Remember the start I said you can make this workout as easier, easy as hard, or as hard as you like. We could be hanging up here, pretty easy. We're going to be sitting down here, pretty challenging. Good. I'm going to get you to wrap right elbow over left knee prayer style twist. You advanced people. Let's try this. We're going to go right foot off the floor. Still holding that twist. If you can, take a look up to your left elbow. Good. Weights in your left heel. Left leg is just shaking. We're here for about 20 seconds in total. Let's make that five, four, three, two, one foot comes down or you've got two feet planted already shift over to the other side butt pokes back weights into our right heel try it with me we're going to lift up that left leg you advance people come on let's bend that right leg take a look up to your right elbow hold your balance it's 20 seconds good let's go five four three two one, shift legs, left leg planted, right leg comes up, airplane dive, aim to make your body parallel to the floor, think about your pelvis, square it up to the floor, your right hip bone comes down, arms come up, let's pulse together for one, two, three, four, five, squeezing your back muscles, get that right heel up a little bit higher, squeeze your right glute, and last one, good. Nice slow transition. We've got left heel comes up, square up your hips. In other words, left hip bone comes down. So our left hip bone's the same distance from the floor as our right hip bone. Arms up, pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One and two. Really good. Quick transition. Come on to your boat pose. Can be here. Can be here. Can be here. Try it. Hold that position. So it's a 20 second boat. And then we're going to go into those three super slow crunches. Everyone working on posture here. Shoulders back, chin away from the chest. Tall, tall back. Good. Three two, one, come on down, lower back pulls into the floor, exhale, 
slowly down. Check in with your chin. Big space between your chin and your chest. We're trying to create a nice tall torso, a little bit more leverage working on our abs. Good. We pop all the way back up. We're into boat position and hang out here. Belly button pulls in, shoulders roll back, chin away from the chest. <laughs> Can anyone else feel the abs just quivering right now? I need everyone to think about getting rid of this rounded back. So the way we do that, shoulders back, chest forward, abs, belly button pulls in for five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. I don't know if anyone else felt it. Even my quads are shaking. Let's go. Belly button pulls into the floor. No gap under the low back. Try it again. Nice. Come on down. Let's try it again. Excellent. And we're all the way back up into boat. Last time through. Here we go. It's 20 seconds. You can. Notice when we straighten out those legs, contracting quads. Quads are active. Stomach is active. Back is active. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Belly button pulls in. Let's go. We're up for one, two. Good. Try it again. Three. Slowly down. Awesome. Right away. We're up. We flip over. Knees hip width apart. So make sure they're not too wide. Toes facing straight back. We're going to go opposite side. Right arm up. Squeeze glutes. Can I get everyone to do this with me? Hips push forward. Squeeze glutes. Squeeze them. Butt cheeks tight. Come on back. Touch. We're going to make this into a five count. One, two, three, four, five. So just that last maybe two counts where we actually have our finger down. Come on down, down, down. We touch, a little hold. Can you feel it in your quads? Can you feel it in your core? Try it again. Come on back. Nice. Let's do it again. little hold. That's it. We're going to switch over to the other arm. Left arm up. Right arm going back. Touch and hold. Check in with yourself. How much weight is going through that right fingertip when we touch your heel or touch your floor? The less weight going to the fingertip, the better. Try it again. Come on back. There's three. We're going again. Come on back. <sighs> Challenge yourself. I can't say it enough, especially people who do those harder versions. Barely touch the floor. <sighs> Good. Let's do one more. And we're up. <sighs> Flip it over. Ten push-ups. Plank. Squeeze glutes. Let's go. Slowly. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. Try it again. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Remember, we're always in motion. Let's try again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Abs are quivering. Let's go again. Nice. Slowly down. Five, four, three, two, one. Push. Let's do four more. Slowly. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one. Push. Three more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Just two more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Nine, eight, seven. Squeeze glutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Push. Good job. Grab your water. We do have one more time through.
Hopefully you're feeling the power of isometrics. Today's work, you can probably tell we're isolating a couple big areas. Lots in our quads, lots in our core. That last one a ton through our chest. We're gonna come back and do chair pose. So let's go feet together. Notice what I'm doing, pushing butt back. Start to sit down. Can I get everyone to pull your belly button in? Make the snap workout, which I know is asking a lot after what we've just done. Weight in our heels, you can tap your toes, no problem. Nose is back, that activates our lower back. Good, hands up over top of your head. Pointing on a 45 degree angle. Sit down a little bit lower. Straighten out your elbows. It's 20 seconds here, 20 seconds per side. We end up being a minute of chair pose. That's it. Thighs might be quivering a little bit now. Squeeze your knees. Create some synergy between the strength of your two legs. Five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go left elbow over right knee. Stack your hands. Good, and then bend those knees a little bit deeper. If you like, left foot coming up off the floor. Knees still touching. And then we've still got weight into our right heel. Practicing that perfect balance. Good, hanging out here. Feel your calf work, feel your quads work, feel your glutes all working together. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna switch over. Wrap it, right elbow around. Wait into your left heel. If you choose to have one foot, weights in that left heel. If you've got two feet, no problem. Work on the depth. Bend your knees, weight goes into your heels. Again, it's 20 seconds here, we're halfway. Holding. Nice. Five, four, three, two, one. Place that right foot down right away. Relatively straight leg. Left leg comes up and extends back, squeezing left glute. Square up your hips so left hip goes down. Can I get you to re-squeeze your left glute? Bring that left leg up parallel to the floor. Chest is parallel to the floor. Arms are up into airplane dive. Let's go. We've got one, one pulse, two, three, four, five, six. Squeezing your back muscles with each pulse. Ten. One, two. Good. How's the balance? We've got left leg. Right leg comes up. Arms up. And then squeeze right glute. Right hip pushing to the floor to square up your hips. Let's do it together. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, one, two. Perfect. We're down. We've got boat pose. Pick your version. Hands supporting. Hands can be away. Feet can be up. Legs can be straight. We're here. Tall chest. Sweat is coming. Who knew? Moving so slowly could produce so much sweat and cause so much work. Hang out here. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Come on down. Very slow crunch. We're up. A little hold at the top. Slowly coming down. Belly button pulling in. Try it again. Give your stomach a little bit of a poke here. Should feel like abs are giving a really tight contraction, so you should have a firm stomach. We're up, a little hold. Come on back down, and then right away, we're back in the boat. Whew. Holding that balance. Shoulders back, flat back. Chin pulls in, straight spine. Abs are quivering. Just think, after this one, we just have one more. So we're well on our way, close to the end. Let's go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, come on down, belly button in, we curl up, little hold, let it back down, try it again, we're up, little hold, support your head, come on back down, last one, we're up, little hold, and then come on back down, last time through, boat pose, try it, good, feel the quads shake, Stomach is shaking, whole body vibrating right now. Yep, let's go 10, 9, 
eight, keep holding here. Belly button pulls in, shoulders back. Three, two, one, come on down. And we've got a crunch, a little hold. Right back down, there's one. Try it again. Two, try it again. Three, good. Notice how much your neck muscles are working. I mentioned at the start to hold on to your ears to give a little bit of support. That boat pose, it is a ton of work on our neck. So in the crunch, definitely support your head. Last exercise. We've got 10 by 10, 100 counts here in a push-up. Let's go, nice and slow. Yep. And five, four, three, two, one, push. Go again. I often talk about time under load. Oftentimes we get in this habit of always just wanting to kill ourselves with fast-paced movements, plyometrics, jumping around, which is great. But sometimes slowing things down and putting our muscles through a long period of time where they're under the load of our body or weights or whatever it is creates a very effective workout. Slowly down, slowly down, and push it up. Let's go again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One push. Let's go again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're only halfway through. I don't know about you. My full body is shaking right now. Core is exhausted. Slowly down. Two, one push. There's six. Let's go for seven. Yep. Five, four, three, two, one push. Good. Here's number eight. Slowly. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Two more. Let's go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Push. Last one. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Awesome work. Grab your water. Take a breath. We're gonna stretch. We're not going to stretch. <laughs> I just realized we missed an exercise. Oh, some of you were thinking we got away with one. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go on to our knees. Knees underneath hips. Here we go, right hand up. This is going to be a challenge. Here we go. Come on back. Slowly down. Touch. Right back up. Oh, everyone's so motivated to stretch. We'll go through these quickly. It's just five per side. Come on down, touch, let's try it again. We're moving, five, four, three, two, one. Good, there's three already, just two more. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. We're up, switch arms. Right arm down, looking for your heel. Maybe it's your calf. Maybe it's the floor. There's one. Try it again. Touch. There's two. I can't emphasize enough. Squeeze glutes. Three. Try it again. Just two more. Four. Last one. Slowly down. Down, down, down. We touch. <laughs> All right, now we're done. I apologize. Oh, that is a deadly move, saying we're done and then going back into it. I'm going to get everybody to come down into child's pose. You earned this. Thanks for that extra set. When we're in child's pose, try and straighten out your toes, getting them point straight back. Arms are straight, elbows off the floor, forehead to floor. And be really conscious in your breath. Try a couple with me where on our exhale, hips go back. Try it. Big breath in. Exhale. Try it again. Big breath in. Exhale.
fantastic. Let's go right leg forward, left hip forward and down, hands on your hips. Oh, after so much boat pose, this is a glorious stretch. Feels so nice through our left hip. Hands on your hips, shoulders back, chest slightly facing up to the ceiling. You can do a little bit of a backward bend if you like, and then squeeze your left butt cheek. Relax your left butt cheek. Feel the difference in the stretch on your left hip joint. So right here, hip flexor, we should be getting a stretch. Squeeze your left glute. Whoa, there it is. Keep that left glute squeezed if you can. Hang out here. Just breathe. You're going to notice after all this work we did, all those chair poses in particular, our left glute is not going to want to squeeze very long. Try your best. Hold that contraction. Increase your stretch. Good. Let's go other side. Left leg forward, right hip forward and down. Hands on your hips. Chest up to the ceiling. Squeeze right glute. Try it. Make that right glute nice and tight. try a new stretch with you today. Let's go, let's go two legs out. So we're going to be in a staff position, sitting up nice and tall. And this is a bit of a challenge, so if you don't do it first time, no problem. Bring your left knee up. So we tuck left heel right in towards our left butt cheek. And notice what I'm doing with my right hand, just act as a kickstand, so we're supporting our body. Next what I'm going to do is reach let me see, I'm gonna reach, sorry, I went under my leg. We're going around our leg. Take your left arm, reach around your leg, palm facing out towards me. So notice my palm's waving at you. If you're not sure, take a look. Palm starts down, palm turns out to the side, to your left, and then we reach our elbow around. Sit up nice and tall. This could be it right here, just working on this, and we're getting a little bit of stretch through our glute. If you can, we're gonna pick up our right hand, and then we're going to reach those two hands together and grab on nice and tight, thinking about sitting up nice and tall. So we're getting a little stretch through our lower back, getting a little stretch through our glute, a little stretch all up our torso. Turn and look over your right shoulder. Right butt cheek's driving into the floor. Hold that grip nice and tight. Try and draw your belly button in. Sit up a little bit taller and then untwist. Let's try it on the other side. We've got staff position. And then we're going to bring right knee in, left arm supporting. We're going to take right hand, faces the palm out to the right side. We're going to wrap that arm around, get a big, nice, deep twist. Already, I'm facing my chest out towards you, towards the left side. I can already feel a little stretch through my obliques, a little bit through my lower back. Pick up that left hand if you can. Interlace your fingertips. When you get this, there's a lot of stuff stretching right now, so it's quite a deep twist. Might feel it in your right shoulder, might feel it in your obliques, like I said, the sides of your abs, might feel it in your lower back. Think about sitting up nice and tall. Think about twisting. You can look over your left shoulder. Good. Release your fingertips. Come on down. Get you to grab a seat. Ideally, we can sit back. Just let those quads stretch. Roll those shoulders back. We did a lot of push-ups today. 300 seconds in a push-up. Shoulders back. Pull those pecs open. Let's go, hands up. Exhale. Thumbs drop back. Try it again. Breath in. Exhale. Thumbs drop back. Try it again. Breath in. Exhale. One more. That's all it is. Come on up. We're going to finish the quad stretch. Left foot on the floor. A little more balance. Like we need any more balance after today, I know. Go ahead and hold on to the wall. Hold on to a chair, whatever you like. Picking up a right foot, right knee facing to the floor. Hips push forward. That's important. We don't want our butt pushing out the back and our chest facing the floor. Bringing chest up nice and tall. Hips push forward. Then we've got two hands on your shoe if you can. Heel to butt. So quickly review your pieces here. Knees are side by side, right knee facing the floor. 
shoulders back, chest up, hips push forward. And there you should feel a pretty big stretch in your right quad. Maybe a little bit in your right hip flexor as well. Come on down. Let's try the other side. Right foot planted, testing out that balance, or go hold on to something for balance. And then same pieces, we've got knees side by side. Left knee pointing straight down. Two hands on your shoe if you can. Hips push forward, shoulders come back. Enjoy that nice quad stretch, nice hip flexor stretch. And come on down, quick roll of the shoulders. Thanks for sticking with me. Super slow workout, I know. Hopefully you feel really challenged in the core, quads, upper body. Think about it for the rest of the day. Shoulders back, nice tall posture. I'll be back in a couple days. As always, I hope to see you here. Take care.